On day four, a delegation from the National House of Chiefs signed the Book of Condolence. The chiefs commiserated with the family of the late former president, president of the House, Ojiahoho Nana Iaojebi II, and has called the need for peace in the December polls to honor the memory of former President Rawlings. And it is our hope that uh, these elections, only one person will win, and whoever wins will also continue. And anybody who is declared the uh, loser will be gracious enough to congratulate whoever wins. Uh, I will also say that the press, the nanom, and everybody should preach peace during this period, morning period. It is, it should not be uh, proper General Rawlings' uh, bereavement to hear people or to see people fighting here and there. We should all be able to maintain the peace of this country before the elections, during the elections, and after the elections. Former colleagues of the late president in the Ghana Armed Forces also signed the Book of Condolence on Thursday. Former PNDC Secretary for the Upper West Region and MP for Wild West, Joseph Yelitre, was at the conference center to sign the Book of Condolence. He engaged the media after signing. The commitment to certain values, and like all great people, his body will be entered, but the values and beliefs and the system that he tried to institute in Ghana will forever live. The principle of accountability in terms of people accounting for not only resources, but the time and everything else in power. The demystification of government, making sure that ordinary people understood the requirement of those who govern. These are the things that I will always remember him for. And I believe that uh, Flight Lieutenant Jerry John Rawlings will forever be on the lips of many people as we read the history of Ghana. UN Senior Mediation Advisor Imano Bombande signed the Book of Condolence. CEO of the Jospon Group, Dr. Siena Japon, and International Evangelist, Dr. Lawrence Tete, were also present to sign the Book of Condolence. On Friday, the foyer of the conference center will be open to the public to sign the Book of Condolence.